So interesting mm. uh, topic um, I was talking about with my friends, all two of them, yesterday. And we're talking about this instance of uh, the Ajitomobis. I don't know if you guys have heard about yeah. them. They have yeah. a lending firm, an image lending firm is what they called it. Micro. Micro, lending. yeah. And they've had this on for about six years or more. However, they've absconded with customers 22 billion naira. And um, why this is coming to the fore is because there's been a picture that's been paraded about with uh, them and the preacher of a very big Nigerian church. And people have started asking questions regarding the origin of people's source, or rather the source of people's uh, monies when it comes to tithing. tithing. Yeah, it's a word I find <clears throat> very difficult to pronounce. Tithing. And um, asking whether preachers or pastors or churches should be concerned about the origin of such um, uh, monies. Uh, and it's a big... Uh, question mark yeah because often when people make these big donations you find that there's certain associations or relationships that they have or form with the church and they're revered or thanked or congratulated somehow so that question is there how much responsibility should churches have when it comes to the monies that they are accepting into their um, uh, accounts they should they should have some level of responsibility you know, as for a lot of people here, religion for a lot of people in this, in these climes, religion is like a beacon. Yeah. It's, it's a guiding light. Mm -hmm. You understand? And with all, with, you know, without taking the, the Jews and all of that, I think when, when it comes to what they say, they do their best. But there's as much as you can, would you go to every single person mm -hmm. and say, okay, where did you get this uh, 1,000? Mm -hmm. We face that green. Uh, all they of talk, that. Talk, talk. <laughs> there's as much as you can do. You know, yeah. there's as much as you can do, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I would also say they do have some responsibility because in two instances, there's an instance before this one of NBA Forex, even mm -hmm. before this one. Yeah, exactly. Two instances before mm -hmm. this one. Some of these people, even hoodwink members of the church also. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're not even, it's the not like you're actually the, you understand? the pool. Yeah. Before, or, in fact, yes, for, because of getting customers. If you, if you remember MMM, uh, MMM, this one. If you remember MMM some churches okay. even had banners. Yeah, and exactly. Getting people into the pyramid and all of that, even inside the church. So for the fact, that not only that this thing affects even members of your church, then there should be some sort of responsibility from, uh, yeah. from leaders, from, I, I from, uh, from, from the clergy. And when we I, want I to go next. No, no, no. <laughs> I would even like to ask, okay, so let's um, break it down in terms of um, the, the responsibility. Mm -hmm. what, what should the pastor do? Okay, so if, for instance, I've, I've also um, heard where, um, listen to some messages where they tell where you see pastors talk to people and tell them about Ponzi schemes. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Educate people. We mm -hmm. are people are very desperate. So we've had pastors who come up and educate people and say, look, when somebody tells you bring somebody, bring somebody, bring somebody, it's a Ponzi scheme. You understand? So you educate them and tell them, look, these are there some kind of things you should not want to invest in. Some have been doing it. I've heard some do it, and that is uh, commendable. Mm -hmm. That's where you start from, educating people. Education really takes off a lot when yeah. it comes to these kind of things. When you educate people, and then of course, uh, from the from uh, from all, all religions mostly, their holy books or they, they 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 talk about you know doing unto your neighbor as you have them do unto mm -hmm. you. So as much as you are telling people, educating them, and I know also uh, people who get into this thing for you know to try to get money and all of that. They should be admonished as much as possible. Well, you see, it's funny that you should mention that because I was going to go on this. First off, if you are talking about from the standpoint of the Bible, mm. where Jesus Christ went into the temple and he overturned the tables of the money changers and he Great. drove away. Um, yes. yes, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 and he declared, you have turned the house of my father into yeah. a den of thieves. thieves. I believe that places of worship should have no business with business. You mm. should have no business with people who want to turn your space into some kind of commerce uh, uh, environment so that should have no place in the church and they should not be recognized because see where it gets you when you recognize people who are of certain status or maybe exactly. because they brought exactly. so, so amount of money exactly. uh, I thank this brother because he has done well for the church and this is where it gets you you begin True. to sully your okay uh, so uh, now I would like to comment <laughs> yes situation. yes okay. quite a mistress <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. anyway first of all I'd like to start by saying see the church is like uh, when I say hospital mm. right Mm -hmm. To be honest, it's the doors are open. Mm. Anyone can come in, right? So the pastors do not monitor people coming in and going out. First of all, the responsibility of find, finding out where people are getting their money from before they pay their tithes 
I don't think that can necessarily be covered. Mm. Because today, someone is here in this church. I mean, once upon a time, I was in Abuja. Then I moved to Lagos. People are going and coming. Are you going to be tracing everybody? Mm. That Then again, I understand what you're talking about. Fine, you should, the, the pastor shouldn't probably directly push for businesses, right? Mm, yeah. And I honestly know there are certain business. churches that go the extra mile to help their members with mm. business um, ideas. Um, ideas. Do you understand? Yeah. They even have conferences yeah. and bring in these experts to talk to them about how to invest their money. But the truth is that we all know there are a whole lot of churches out there, right? And then also that picture now circulating, I mean, if um, uh, like I go to a church and I'm like, oh, okay, I want to take a picture of my pastor, mm -hmm. should the pastors now say no? Of course, they know to them it might be indirect. I, I, they might, it, might, it might be indirect, like, venting, endorsement, like exactly. do you understand? Endorsing. But the guy's literally just taking an innocent photo. So you say, okay, fine, because, okay, they were seen in a photograph with him, meaning he endorsed it. Mm. I don't necessarily think so. And also because I know um, Pastor Remy particularly, I know he does um, a whole lot of business. Mm. I listen seminars. to his messages a lot, so yeah. I know he does a lot of business seminars and all of that. So, so that could have been just one of those occasions. That could have literally been one of those not occasions. Exact, not exactly endorsing them. Yeah. See, I knew you had something to say. See, there mm. you go. She had plenty to say, didn't she? But hey, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's it, still... It, it is, it is, it is, it is quite an issue. Like I said, one, 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 one way which, I, which I've heard which would really is when it comes to education and letting them know that, look, it, 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 like you said, there are some, there are some key words here that is very easy to spot some of these schemes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, very 22. True. Billion is really uh, something. I, would, I, mean, I would like to say something on that note, yeah, and this might get me into trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> but worshippers mm. are the most gullible. They are very true. They, they especially they can be, they can especially they when can people be, approaching you from the church. They they can and be. I know particular pastors, my pastor they will tell be. you, be aware of people in the church, mm. particularly, because they know that they are open. Your trust is this. Can can be. Be. Uh, uh, well, now we're not well, getting into trouble. This is what I'd like to wrap up with quickly, because I know we need to go. Um one. <laughs> I'm not interested. No, I'm not fire breathing on this one. Uh, we all have a responsibility. Yeah, we all have definitely. our role, or we have different roles that we all need to play in this regard. If you're going to invest in anything, like I always say, do your due, due diligence. diligence. Yeah. Yeah.